I speak your truth fam this is your girl Yana positive with another episode of speak your truth the untold if you're new to the program remember to like share and subscribe click that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload our next videos all right yes 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 here at speak your truth we seek to create an iris space inspirational relatable empowering and elevating what you know what you know yeah so as usual we promise you worthwhile content worth your time so check this out we have somebody special today we have a special guest her name is Abigail Waysom. She's a final year student at the Northern Caribbean University doing a bachelor's in social work. She is a very active member of the Rotaract Club and she also served as the PRO of the Literary and Debating Society. She lives by the prayer, the prayer of serenity. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Beautiful prayer, I absolutely love it. It's a good inspiration to live by. Check it out, people, try it out. I believe that you have absolutely fall in love with it as well. Now, we give way to Abigail. She'll be giving us a very relatable topic because in this day and age, we use social media and the internet for so many things we need to use it to access basic things that were so available to us such as education or jobs everything now depends on social media and internet are you becoming addicted to it is it that you are within the natural boundaries or the natural line that needs to be drawn when it comes down to these things or are you overindulging are you taking too much out of the social media abigail will lead us into this very interesting presentation take us away abby hello everyone thank you so much for having me ayana on speak your truth be untold i am abigail and today we'll be talking about a very relevant needed and appropriate topic which is internet addiction so given our circumstances of being in a pandemic since covid 19 we have increased our internet usage so we're online doing school work or any other activity that we used to do in a physical setting so as the term suggests internet addiction is basically a comp compulsive behavior or desire to be online you being a part of online networks social networking online shopping or online gaming so it's been obsessive and spending the majority of your time on these sites for personal gains so we have a understanding of what internet addiction is we have different types of internet addiction so the first type of internet addiction is cyber sex addiction as the name suggests cyber sex persons are normally on websites with adult content probably porn or any form of adult entertainment they spend significantly a significant amount of time on these websites for personal gain they are more secluded they spend a lot of time by themselves just to be on these sites and every opportunity they get they are on these adult sites the second one is net compulsion so net compulsion is referring to persons who are obsessive with online shopping i know a few persons who struggles with this so it can be a case where they're always online trying to find something to buy or they pack up a lot of a lot of stuff in their cart and when they probably don't even have enough money to check out their carts but they constant they are constantly online trying to find something to add because of that desire or need to be doing so 
the third type of internet addiction is cyber relationships so we are familiar with the different types of dating sites such as tinder cupid christian mingle and thousands of other dating sites and dating apps so someone who is addicted to cyber relationship they will spend majority of your time creating different profiles just to be on these sites to find companionship and as the term suggests dating or relationship and the last one is computer or gaming addiction so i'm sure we're familiar with persons mostly males who spend almost every minute of the second plane yeah i really don't know the, the games that they play so i think fifa is one of them yeah playing fifa and call of duty and i don't know them but they're always online playing these games checking with friends well enjoying their game i just don't have any other time for anything else if they work as soon as they leave out from work or come off work they're online they're playing their games any free time they have they're playing games and so forth they're such a player men are mostly addicted to games so they might be playing their FIFA, their Call of Duty, and the many more gunman games they always see and hear them playing. So each time they leave work or every day they leave work or any free time they have, they'll be playing the games with their friends, don't have time for anybody else or anything else. I think that they are struggling with a form of internet addiction because they always have the desire to be on these platforms playing these games. So now that we have learned the different types of internet addiction, there are different causes why persons are addicted to different types of internet activities. So they may be struggling with anxiety, depression, boredom. I think that boredom is one of the most contributing factors for internet addiction. Even now in the pandemic, we realize that we're not able to go out and socialize and interact as we used to. So we're more indoors and we have to rely on the internet or any other social media platform where we can communicate with friends or just to entertain us. So even if even though you're watching this video, you're probably having some free time or probably bored and I hope that's not the case and you're participating in some form of internet activity which is watching the video or being on social media so we have depression and anxiety there are lots of persons even before pandemic who are mostly introverts they struggle with socializing talking to people just going out there and interacting with others so you find that they're by themselves um expressing themselves through um social media or just scrolling browsing the internet or even find themselves on different online dating platforms because of such anxiety they are afraid to actually go out there and meet people depression we know that persons who struggles with depression are more introverted they tend to want to be by themselves they don't want to be socializing or talking to everyone so persons very often so they may find comfort in just being on their computer or their phone still talking or communicating with others but not in a face-to-face -face setting so I have a few questions that I want you to ask yourself just to find out if you're an addicted or if you're an addict to the internet. So listen carefully. So they are, are you unable to resist your desire to use the internet? Do you stay online for longer periods of time than you mean to? When you cannot use the internet, do you find yourself in a bad, anxious or irritable mood? So if the answer for those questions is yes, you're probably an addict to the internet. Sometimes you find out that you're on the road and 
you want to go around Wi-Fi, you want like a Wi-Fi, you want some service because you have to check your WhatsApp, you have to check your Instagram to find out what is the latest. And just being a part of the whole social media thingy. So you are now in a mood, you're now miserable, miserable, you're now irritated because you don't have that comfort or you don't have access to the internet. So that is one of the that is one of the that is one of the symptoms um, for internet addiction as well. Some other symptoms for internet addiction is insomnia, aches and pains from the lack of movement, social isolation, feeling of guilt and poor concentration capabilities. So insomnia, you probably spend majority of your time throughout the night when you're supposed to be getting rest on the internet watching movies on social media on an online date um dating website or app or playing game so you're denying yourself your rest because of that urge or that desire to be online so you have persons who work in an office setting or even before covid we are very stagnant so we are in one position for a majority of the time, a majority of the days, and even persons who play online game and participate in other online activities, they are glued to their seats. So lack of movement um, causes poor circulation. They have back pains because of their posture. Their eyes are probably hurting or burning because of the excessive screen time. So those are some of the symptoms that you may face if you have if you have been using the internet over a long period of time without any breaks. Also, we have social isolation. Being addicted to the internet, you find that that may be your solace. You don't need anybody. You don't socialize as much as we used to because you find more comfort or you're more comfortable just being alone using your internet or being on social media platforms playing your games just being away just being away from others makes you makes you less social so even if you had a lot of friends before and you all right covid for example you don't see a friend as often friends as often so you're more used to just texting them on whatsapp share instagram memes and so forth so it it limits your social interaction and you become more isolated and not wanting even if you have the opportunity to go out to socialize or interact with people you probably decline that opportunity too because you're so used to being by yourself so poor concentration capabilities is one of the symptoms that we may struggle with so you find that because you're probably in a very important meeting and because you don't have any internet or don't have access to an internet source or your platforms or something that you're used to um you are unable to focus as i mentioned before sometimes you're on the road or you have to be doing something important but all you can think about is gaining access to wi-fi just to scroll through instagram just to go on whatsapp and it breaks your concentration so you find that persons are now unable to concentrate properly than before because they spend majority of their time on the internet or focusing on a particular activity on the internet the effects of internet addiction so we know what internet addiction is we know the types of internet addiction the symptoms of internet addiction and now we're going to look at the effects of internet addiction so we have the social effects the sexual effect the psychological effect and the physical effect we touch on some of these effects while we're looking on the causes. So the social effects, we know that persons are being more isolated, staying to themselves because they're no longer socializing with other persons, being out there, chilling with their friends, interacting with other persons. 
they don't feel the need for that they just want to be alone or be in, be in, their, be in their own space using their internet doing whatever they want to do also we have the sexual effects so one of the types of internet addiction was cyber sex addiction so this ties in with sexual effects whereas persons are probably not interested in physical sexual contact because of their addiction to the virtual setting as it relates to the psychological and physical effect of internet addiction two main psychological effect is anxiety and depression the physical effect we spoke about some aspect of is of it earlier on when we mentioned that being seated in a particular position for a long period of time can cause aches and pains over our bodies or eyes or probably um, burning or hurting because of the excessive screen time so now that we have looked on some of our some of the effects of internet addiction it's fair to say that we have some coping measures or ways in which we can prevent or deal with being internet addicted so some of the coping measures are restrain yourself um, designate take free hours so take a few hours out of the day just to breathe just to put away all the technology and relax and have some new time some self-care time turn off all notifications you realize that sometimes even when we're, even when we're sleeping and we hear the notifications from the different social media sites probably a message or a call coming in it disturbs our sleep and we might not even fall asleep immediately afterwards so turning off those notifications or putting your phone or your computer on do not disturb allows you to have adequate rest and adequate time away from these screens and limit yourself to one screen at a time so sometimes we are using our computers watching a movie or doing something on our computers but we have our phone in our hands doing something else so we have two screens that are being used at that point and that may affect your vision as well as your ability to concentrate on one activity at a time and exercise exercise has many benefits and it is says it's saying that working out or exercising allows you to feel more relaxed and not being dependent on the internet for comfort it helps you physically psychologically and emotionally so exercise is indeed one of the best coping measures for internet addiction and if you are addicted to the internet you can always seek professional help from a psychologist psychiatrist or even a counselor they may use different therapeutic techniques that may assist you in getting better or probably a rehab visit for a short period of time so if you think you are if you think you are struggling with um internet addiction don't be afraid to see the necessary help so i hope you have learned something throughout this presentation and it was good for you to join thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for having me ayana on speak your truth the untold have a great night i think i am full with knowledge and with the information i need now to go out and ensure that i'm not becoming addicted to the internet whilst using it for the, the essential things in life that we now have to use it for because of this pandemic now i do hope you were informed i do hope you're blessed i do hope you got your educational empowerment today Thank you, Abigail, for gracing our platform. Thank you for coming on. We appreciate this information. Bless up, big up, every time, everywhere, every place. All right, so see you guys later. Remember to like, share, and subscribe because guess what? We're on the road to 500 subscribers. I see you. I see you. Woo. Anyways, later guys, I will catch you another time, same time, same place, Thursdays at 
8 p.m. See you later. Thanks for watching. Thank you.